Jimmy Butler and the Miami Heat have been able to maintain all season long. And even though they have the same record as the Chicago Bulls as of now, they are still number one in the Eastern Conference. They have Bam Adebayo, Jimmy Butler, Kyle Lowry, and last but not least, Tyler Hero. They're big four. They've been able to do some amazing things, even though they've all missed some games in the rotation just off the fact of injury or of safety protocols. But the job has still been able to get done. We've got Max Struess, Gabe Vincent, and a whole bunch of other guys that can step up at any given moment, especially Caleb Martin. I love the way that he's been able to play for the Miami Heat this season, but as we all know, we've been waiting on the return of Victor Oladipo. And according to Woj, there's optimism that the Miami Heat guard could make his season debut within the next two weeks. He's been ramping up after off-season quad tendon surgery, and he joined the Miami Heat on their six-game road trip and could be ready to play as soon as the second week of March. Now, this is great news for Victor Oladipo and the Miami Heat. As we all know, Oladipo is a tough defensive-minded player who will fit right in with our culture. He's not a great, great three-point shooter, but he does everything else well. He can score, he's a good rebounder, passer, defender. Not only is he a veteran player, but he can mentor some of our younger guys. Max Struess, Kayla Martin, even Tyler Hero probably already have been getting tips from Oladipo, but that just goes to show you how valuable he is. He's a guy like Kyle Lowry, Jimmy Butler, they're all level-minded. As long as we have players that's willing to sacrifice, then we will make it to the NBA Finals. Just look at the matchups if we're able to stay healthy. Most likely, if the season continues to go the way it is, then I'm hoping that we go against the Brooklyn Nets. And I'm pretty sure Victor Oladipo will replace Duncan Robinson in that starting lineup. And this is just a scenario. But Victor Oladipo would guard Kyrie Irving. Kyle Lowry would guard Seth Curry. Jimmy Butler would guard Ben Simmons from the free throw line. And PJ Tucker would be on Kevin Durant. Now, at the center position, I'm pretty sure that Andre Drummond would start. And Bam Adebayo would be doing a good job against him. In the next round, most likely they will have to go against the Milwaukee Bucks if they don't get past the Philadelphia 76ers. The Bucks, they will be a little bit more difficult in my opinion because Giannis Antetokounmpo is on a mission. However, if they end up getting past the Milwaukee Bucks, then they will go against the Chicago Bulls. And in my opinion, the Bulls and the Bucks are the only two teams in the East that even have a chance of beating the Miami Heat. And if the Heat do win a title this year, then this might be the hardest path to the NBA Finals that we have seen in years. Because the Brooklyn Nets as an 8 seed with three All-Stars is crazy. The Milwaukee Bucks are still the defending NBA champions and also have three all-stars in my opinion. They're very underrated, and we know what they can do against any lineup. And last but not least, the Chicago Bulls, who have Zach Levine, DeMar DeRozan, and two players on their roster that could be on the all-defensive team this year, and Alex Caruso and Lonzo Ball. It's just, I don't even know what to say. The Eastern Conference is looking like the better conference this year, and they're not just top heavy. They have teams like the Cleveland Cavaliers, the Toronto Raptors, the Boston Celtics, who all can upset a team in a series. Now, before I head out, you guys, I do have two questions. But first, make sure you follow me on both of my Instagram pages. Once I reach 1,100 followers, I'll be giving away an NBA jersey of your choice. And once I reach 5,000 subs on this channel, I'll be giving away another NBA jersey. All you have to do is comment Miami Heat in my DMs. Now, last but not least, follow my main Scotty Ice page. Once I reach 11,000 subscribers, I'll be giving away a third NBA jersey. So all you have to do is comment jersey in my DMs. And you must be following me on both of these channels and Instagram to win a jersey. Now, the questions that I have for today is, one, do you think that the Miami Heat will reach the NBA Finals? And who is the toughest team that we have to go against? 
Now, I said it was between the Chicago Bulls and the Milwaukee Bucks. And I'm giving it to the Bucks just off the fact that I think they will be the healthier team out of the two. And they're the defending NBA champs. So until they're knocked off, they still have it going. Now, you can give it an argument with the Chicago Bulls just off the fact that DeMar DeRozan has been killing it. He's been doing things that even Derrick Rose or, or Michael Jordan haven't been able to do with the Chicago Bulls organization. And I'm just talking about his crazy scoring spree and their ability to do things on the defensive side of the ball. Also with Zach Levine being able to do his thing. Now, the second question that I have for today is, while Victor Oladipo is returning, do you think that he should start, come off the bench, or it should be situational based off the opponent that we have in the NBA playoffs? To me, I believe that Victor Oladipo should start just off the fact that with him, Kyle Lowry, Jimmy Butler, PJ Tucker, and Bam Adebayo, they will be able to set the tone defensively, be able to give you a scoring push, and that's something that we really need. Now, Duncan Robinson, he's been great, and maybe some games, he can start. That's just the great thing about what we have. We have players that are willing to sacrifice, that know that we have a mission at hand, and that's what we love about the Heat Nation. We have a chance this year, a great chance, and the title is up for grabs. Now, I appreciate all you guys loving your support, and as always, this your boy Scotty Ice, aka Baby Braun, and you already know, I'm out.